What do you think is health in terms of diet? We think fat is unhealthy. I absolutely believe that it was harmful, except there are two types of body fat, and one of them is surprisingly not unhealthy. In this video, I will explain how fat in your body works and how to lose it. Hey guys, this is Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. I'm no nutritionist, and chances are you are not one too. That's no excuse in having minimum fitness knowledge and nutrition knowledge. Over 42% of people are obese. Not being knowledgeable in maintaining good health will lead you, most likely, to be fat at some point of your life. It's outrageous. Unless you live under a rock, you have junk food shoved in your face from huge stimulating advertisements while you're driving, for example. You see fast food restaurants and gas stations selling junk food everywhere. When you do the most essential nutrition research, you're phased by how wrong your conventional understanding of nutrition was. Let's ask the question of how is fat unhealthy? We understand that obesity is unhealthy, but how? It affects you in two ways. Firstly, it could weigh you down and ruin your posture, which is relatively puny compared to metabolic syndrome. Secondly, metabolic syndrome. It is a severe health condition that puts people at a high risk of heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and diseases relating to fatty buildups near your blood vessels. Now, metabolic syndrome is not strictly caused by fat. Let me remind you that fat is a symptom of eating at a calorie surplus. It's a natural way that the body uses to store energy. Fat does not equal sickness, but it is heavily correlated. Cause and effect are very, very different. About 20% of obese people are actually relatively healthy. Fat in your body does not cause metabolic syndrome. So what does? It's terrible food. Low quality fast food, sugar. There are two types of body fats. Let me quickly go over them. Firstly, subcutaneous fat, which is aesthetically unpleasing and is visible. Everyone wants to annihilate this type of fat to reveal their abs, but it's harmless compared to visceral fat. Secondly, visceral fat is the fat around your organs. Some visceral fat is essential to your body. It helps protect your organs, but too much visceral fat can kill you within a year. Here are the layers of your belly. Skin, subcutaneous fat, your six pack abs or muscle, and then visceral fat and your organs. To cure the obesity pandemic, it's not just to eat less it's to eat better. Skinny people can get diabetes too. Even if they don't have much subcutaneous fats, they still get diabetes. The reason 20% of obese people are somewhat healthy is because they ate relatively healthy food. This is also why some people who are average weight or underweight still get metabolic syndrome. It's because of the types of food we're consuming. We need to ask one more question. How do we reduce visceral fat and how do we keep it reduced? We already know the terrible effects of visceral fat. We already know what causes it to build up, primarily sugar and low quality junk food. So to reduce visceral fat, we have to cut out sugar and low quality junk food. Of course, exercise, calorie deficit, enough hydration, enough sleep is also essential to your weight loss journey, but it will play more of a role in general fat loss. Burning 100 calories in the gym doing cardio is so much more difficult than just slicing off a few hundred calories of your diet. I already have a video on how to reduce your sugar intake, and a few other videos explaining the effects of junk food on your body. Feel free to check it out later as I further discuss fixing your diet. Thanks for watching. Share this with friends and family. Please like and subscribe if this video has helped you, as it's the best way to support me and this channel for free. I'm Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. Peace.